Hey everyone, I'm a little bit annoyed about something. I'm an advocate for the auto mage, and most people don't even know what an auto mage is. Um, if you're wondering about, I wrote a guide on the Celtic Hero forum under mage, stick it toward the top. But um, it's an old school build that relies on auto damage on a mage to do insane DPS, and it's still very overpowered today. But whenever I mention it, people say it's not. So, I got my video here, because it'll be better in video format to prove that it's actually good. Now, I'm using level 60 and this is level 50, and you can see for yourself how much DPS it actually does. Now, for a 60, I mean, look at this. It's crazy. Now, I'll explain the concept afterwards, but this is just a little demonstration. But yeah, I mean, fast autos, too. Alright, we won't kill it in case somebody needs it or something. I'm a nice guy. Okay. So, the nice thing about auto mages is that you don't need that much focus and you can stack vit if you choose. I think you can stack, you know, focus or maybe even strength a little bit if you want to. But I like vit. And... You know, you use your auto to do your damage, but here's the important concept. I use heat damage gear and a heat damage offhand to go with my heat damage so that lore can make all of the hits do full damage as long as it's not a boss usually. And therefore all of your attacks will do all they can minus damage flux plus firebolt is instant cast so it won't interrupt your autos so it's like a rogue with elemental power and lore is better than shatter so there's that too now i'm using a cruel knife the fastest weapon in the game and may just don't even have proficiency for it but i used it because i had gear with attack on it to boost my chance to hit enough to actually hit stuff. So, it works out very well, but it's usually reserved for lower levels, and I would say that it's the best leveling build, and it's the best early game build. The only downfall it has is that when you're end game or you're fighting high level bosses, that you won't have enough attack to hit stuff regularly because wand ability can give you you know so much attack but you know gear doesn't really give you any attack end game for mage so you're kind of stuck but for leveling on mobs you'll be fine and for lower level bosses you'll also be fine and Maybe if attack gear ever gets added, then it could be really good end game because all those offense have divine damage, but no way to use them. If there was a way to utilize it, auto mage would actually be viable end game. Well, there's my opinion on it in the little demo. I hope you learned something. Alright, goodbye.